Kimberly and today I'm bringing for you another amazing Christmas recipe from another Caribbean country. Where are we going today? We will be visiting the island of Jamaica. So Jamaica is known for its jerk seasoning and ackee and saltfish but do you know that at Christmas time Jamaica is known for an amazing dessert? Spectacular dessert! We're going to be making that today. We will be making sorrel cake. This takes great cake to another level. Let's go over the ingredients. To start of our dish, as you can tell, in our sorrel cake will be the sorrel. Now we need to make a sorrel paste. So we have about 14 grams of dried sorrel. I'll show you how to make it. If you don't have dried sorrel and you have the fresh sorrel, we can use that. But we also need hard spice, two or three dried bay leaves, and a couple of cloves. So I'll show you how to make the sorrel paste, then I'll show you all of the ingredients to make the sorrel cake. Now, if you have fresh sorrel, you're gonna skip this step. If you have dried sorrel, you're gonna have a pot of boiling water. We're gonna add the sorrel petals to the boiling water because we need to rehydrate them, get them nice and fluffy. And then we're gonna add our spices, the bay leaf, the clove, the hard spice, allow it to boil for about 10 minutes, then turn the stove off and allow it to steep for about two to three hours. Our sorrel is ready nice and soft. You can see the bay leaves, we're still seeing the hard spice. Now it has steeped for a couple of hours. We're gonna take it off the stove because it's nice and cool and I'll show you the next step. Now our petals are nice and cool. We're gonna add them to a food processor. If you don't have a food processor, you can use a blender. Remember, we are only gonna add the petals so at this point, you can remove the bay leaves and we can remove the hard spice. Whenever you find it, we're gonna remove that. We're gonna add the petals and we're gonna add just a bit of the juice. We're not gonna add too much of it. Say like a, a half cup because we need to get a nice thick paste. We don't want it to be too watery. Now it's time to blend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna add one teaspoon of cinnamon. We're gonna add some lime juice, get rid of that tanginess. And we're gonna add just about two spoonfuls of sugar not large and then we're gonna blend again until it's nice and creamy and paste like then we'll go over the other ingredients our sorrel paste is now ready nice and thick and yet still smooth now let us go over the other ingredients two cups of all-purpose flour two cups of brown sugar, five brown eggs. You can use white eggs if you have that. 200 grams of softened butter, room temperature. The juice of half of one lime. One tablespoon of vanilla extract. Three cups of the amazing sorrel puree. One and a half cups of blended fruit. You take all of our fruits, the cherries, raisins, currants, blend them together in a mixer, and this is what you get. Two tablespoons of almond essence, half tablespoon of lemon zest, and our spices, one teaspoon of nutmeg, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, and one and a half teaspoons of salt. Half cup of grape juice. Now, if you don't want to use grape juice and you want to use something a little stronger, that is totally up to you. You will use it, half cup of it. And just to improve the color, we have some red food dye. We're gonna use about two drops. Now we're gonna cream our sugar and our butter together. And remember your butter should be at room temperature. It's gonna cream much easier. And if you can get a fine 
sugar it will be easier as well but if you don't and you have a coarse sugar that one will work now our butter and sugar is creamed we're gonna go ahead and we're going to mix the with the eggs so we have our five eggs here we're gonna add the lemon zest this helps with some freshness and we're gonna add a bit of lime juice and we're gonna whisk now we're gonna add our eggs to our creamed butter and sugar get it all in there And we're going to this and we're going to mix we're going to add the remaining ingredients so we're going to add our almond essence we're going to add the vanilla we're going to add our oh it smells so good our fruits get them all in there oh i can just eat this and now we're going to add our sorrel. So we add three cups of sorrel. Sorrel paste to one and a half cups of fruit. Then we're going to whisk it again gently till we get everything fully combined. Then we'll add our dry ingredients. Final touch we're going to add some grape juice. Now, if you are using something a little different, you can add it at this time because we're going to put all of our wet ingredients together so we'll add the grape juice at this time and if you don't like the color if you want it to be a little richer i actually like the color today but i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to add just two drops of our food dye just to really brighten up the color of our sorrow now we're going to go ahead and we're going to mix our dry ingredients and add it together. To our flour, we're going to add the salt, baking powder, nutmeg, and cinnamon. Get it all in there. We're going to just mix everything together and then we're going to add our flour to our mixture. Now go ahead at this time and preheat your oven to 250 degrees because once we have our flour mixed in, we're gonna put our mixture into a greased baking tray and we're gonna go ahead and bake for about 45 minutes. We're gonna fold it in a little at a time. We're not gonna put it all in one time. We're gonna fold it in. We're not gonna beat. You're gonna use your spatula and we're gonna fold the flour in. And this will help to create some body because we would have had all of our wet ingredients together. So now we're creating some body. And once we have it all mixed in, we're going to put it into the oven. Oh, they changed in there. All right, let me just. Our yeah. first sorrel cake is now ready for the oven. You can just smell such a strong aroma of sorrel. I can't wait to taste this. We're gonna put it in the oven for about 45 minutes, then it will be ready. Our sorrel cake is done. I feel as though I've been in the kitchen all day just preparing this dish, but it's going to be worth it. This elevates our regular great cake. Now, after taking it out of the oven, I just kept it for a while just so it can solidify it because it felt as though it was a little bit wobbly. So just allow it to just sit on the counter for a little while. Now it's time to taste. Even though I would have added the food color, it still doesn't look as red as I thought it would have looked. But it really smells good. It looks just like the regular great cake to me. But there is a definite 
aroma. You can smell the sorrow even before you taste it. Let's try. So good. To say delicious is definitely an understatement. Sorrel cake is a must have every Christmas. No longer will I just be settling for great cake. I must include sorrel cake in my Christmas, on my Christmas menu. Remember, if you want to elevate the taste of your sorrel cake even more, you can go ahead and add some holes to the top of the cake once it's done and the sorrel concentrate that was left over after you made the sorrel paste, you can pour that on the top of your cake and it will just remain moist and taste so delicious. Or if you choose not to use a sorrel concentrate, you can use whatever beverage you choose to use to pour to the top of that cake just to make it moist and totally delicious. Jamaica, you are really on to something. Sorrel cake, now you need to try it. Now, if you enjoyed this sorrel cake recipe, I want you to look over here, see some of my other Christmas recipes, and once you've watched them all, just click the button below, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video. And remember to leave me a comment. I love hearing from you. Oh! <laughs>